And then we have security girl. I'm getting mixed feelings from looking at this. <laughs> well, guys, worry no more. Worry no more. Because we finally have an official Five Nights at Freddy's coloring book. So yeah, here we are guys, it's officially here. The horror of Five Nights at Freddy's meets a children's colouring book. I just find it weird that a year old ago, we actually reviewed and coloured in a bootleg FNAF colouring book. It was all for jokes and giggles. And while I did that, I had no idea that an official one would be a thing. But here we are, a year later. I wonder if Scott watched that video and thought, right, I've got to make these books official now. <laughs> anyway, the Five Nights at Freddy's Colin book. Based on the best-selling horror video game series, Five Nights at Freddy's, this Colin book is packed full of terrifyingly wonderful scenes for FNAF fans to colour in and enjoy. From Chica Cheeks and Foxy Fox to Freddy Faz himself, this Five Nights at Freddy's extravaganza has 96 pages of colouring fun. Perfect for any Freddy Fazbear's Pizza super fan. So, I haven't seen every single page, but I've seen leaks here and there, and there's some really cool additions, like... Set aside all the jokes of saying this is a children's coloring book and whatnot, there's some really cool pictures in here and some really good pictures of an upcoming game that, as of this video, isn't out yet to do with Fun It's Freddy. So, yeah, we've got Springtrap here, we've got Mango Mango, we've got Twisted Twist, we've got Poopy Puppet, we've got Chica Cheeks, it's all good stuff. So, let's just get into it. There's 96 pages, so because I am obviously gonna end up coloring one, we're gonna try be quick going through each of these pages here, but at the same time, we are gonna have a nice little look. We are gonna try balance it out. So, here at the front, uh, first page, the official Final Notes Freddy's coloring book. You could color this if you really wanted to really make this cool. We got Nightmare BB, Mangle, Mangle, Nightmare BB again. And then as we move forward, straight away, a nice, big, full-on picture of Nightmare Fred. Looking absolutely fantastic. Nightmare Fredbear there. And we got all the details here. I don't know who the artist is, but this all looks very Pinky Pills. It really looks like her style. I could be wrong. It could be somewhere else, someone else. It could be a collaborative effort from other artists. But it really all looks very Pinky Pills. Again, if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't think it's stated who the artist was who initially did all these pictures. I haven't found those details yet. Again, let me know in the comment section down below. But look at that Bonnie there. Like, the art looks absolutely incredible. It really does look good. Like, whoever was the artist for this, it looks fantastic. I don't think there's any kind of cohesive order. Like, I don't think it's FNAF 1 characters, then FNAF 2, 3, 4, etc. It's very much random, as you can already see here. Like, we had Bonnie and Chica, then Freddy, and then randomly Security Puppet. It is very random. And now we're on to Nightmares. Like, it's going back and forth. And again, it's just very random here. But look at these pictures. They are very good. Remembering that bootleg one. Guys, if you haven't seen that video, and if I haven't already mentioned it, I'll leave a link in the description. Definitely check that one out. After we've checked all this out here and we've colored one of these pages, you have to because in contrast, that book is even more ridiculous now. It was already hilarious, but now it's even more ridiculous. It really is. So yeah, Nightmares, Mangle here, Foxy, like it's all very good stuff. We're in Bonnie there. Characters getting a lot more love than they initially had to. And then look, already, we're not even hardly in. This is art we've never seen before as well. This is like really early art and just poses we've never seen of these characters. Again, as of this video, FNAF Security Breach is not out for any platform, as of this video. So this is a really good look into these characters, and uh, it's really cool to see them in full detail like this. Like, this is really cool. So Glamrock Freddy, we have Baby there. She's meant to be like a giant, clunky, hunky animatronic, but here she looks actually like baby-sized animatronic. She looks kind of cute and petite. It's good, good stuff. Fun time cheeks there, and then another glamour animatronic being Glamrock uh, Montgomery, or just Montgomery, whatever you want to call him here. Yeah, a really nice full look at him there from top to bottom. That's really cool. Toy Chica looking fantastic, of course. And then we got low bit there. Like, really awesome pictures. Ballora. Perfect pose for Ballora, of course. Wither Chica. Mangle. Good stuff. And we've got all the random mangle heads there. Then Puppet doing all things poopy. And then it looks like Wither Golden Freddy. And then we got, oh, Wither Foxy. And then... Hello? Twisted Foxy? So we have stuff from the books as well. Ah, there's Withered Golden Freddy. That's definitely him. Coming at you with his jump scare. That looks really cool. Like, this is really nice. Again, jokes aside, this is really nice. Really nice. 
Chico, looking at you like that. Dang, that's actually kind of creep. And Springtrap there. A full look at Springtrap. That is awesome. Again, whoever the artist was, they've done an amazing job here. These drawings look really good. Really good. Effort was put in here, like seriously. Absolute effort was put in here. We got Nightmare on. Withered Freddy. Looks like Withered Freddy. Very much so. Oh, we even got Happy Frog. She's looking kind of adorbs. Although, her pants there. So that, that bulge. I'm getting mixed feelings from looking at this. <laughs> A lot of people were joking about lore reveals and stuff. I don't think there's anything of the sorts here. It's just very random. There's just pictures of the animatronics throughout all the Final Fantasy Freddy's games and whatnot. And again, in, and it's all very ordered uh, randomly too. There's the nightmares. Is that Nightmare Fred or Nightmare Freddy? Either one. Then Foxy there. Some really nice pictures, really nice. We've got more of the same here. So there is some like kind of copy and pastes, but done in a certain way. So we've already seen the puppet like this, but you know, he's done in more of a collage pattern. Same with Toy Chica here. So yeah, there is some kind of repeats in some cases. Then Toy Bonnie there. Oh, Pig Patch. Hey, the classic gang. Randomly, it's Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and then Golden Freddy. You would have thought it would have been Foxy there. And then Twisted Wolf. So, again, the books here. Maybe we'll see um, the baby from the books as well. I believe her name was, like... Was it actually just baby? And then we got the Glamrocks again. This is kind of weird. And even more weird. Look at the scale. Why is baby so small? This doesn't make sense at all. Unless it's been retconned now and baby is baby. I don't know. I, I don't know. Glitz Trap. We have har had hardly any merchandise of Glitz Trap, and I believe this is the first official product where he's been in it. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but here he is, Glitz Trap, in all his glory. We have had no merch, he's been in no posters, no nothing, and he appears first in a coloring book. Oh, just random heads here. And then we have Security Girl. We have, we have Security Girl. What? We have had hardly any looks at the Security Girl, and she, just like Glitz Trap, is now suddenly in a coloring but what again contender guys do i color her in we'll see we'll see there's so much more to go through Ooh, we got all the uh classics but then randomly foxy's left out and for some reason it's weird born he has nothing to do with enough one but what what are they did to foxy they secretly digging at him oh that's a cool one i like the background here my fun day that's a nice one uh same with bonnie there that's really nice that's really nice then mangle again more like collages using the same drawings to make Kind of a different picture. I mean, whatever, that's fine, that's fine. Because with a coloring book, you still kind of want somewhat the same pages. If you mess up on one, you'd like to try again somewhat, you know? So, that's fine. Ballora, yeah, we've seen that pose, like I was just saying. Same kind of character, same kind of pose, but used in a different way to create a different picture. Security puppet there. Again, puppet doing this pulpit dance. Hey, Toy Cheeks, is she a contender, guys? She's looking kind of good there. Glamrock Freddy, I'm liking that there. That's a nice little collage, collage sort of look there. Funtime Fox, good stuff, we were Bonnie. So I don't know if every animatronic is depicted here, but there is some nice ones that you wouldn't expect, like Happy Frog and Pig Patch and more of the obscure ones. They've been shown here, which is neat. Then we just have pizza. Is that a contender, guys? Funtime Cheeks there, I think that's a different pose of her. Hey, we got the to Plus trap. Oh, we got the Freddles there. Oh, look at that with uh, Montgomery there. That's cool. Then we have Twisted Freddy, or is that like Fredbear? See, I didn't really know a whole lot about the books. Glamrock Chica. Oh, she looks good. She looks good. El Chip, he looks good too. Baby from the books. Baby from the books. That'll be a great one to color. It just looks really nice. I think that could be a contender. It would be good for the thumbnail. <laughs> Glitch trap again. Again, I was going about duplicate pages. Yeah, you want those in your coloring books. You do, because again, you mess up. You want to color it in better, you know? So that's a given that there will be duplicates here. That's something you can't knock. Something you cannot knock. Oh, Roxanne. Oh, there's so many good pictures to choose from. I want to color more of like the newer animatronics and stuff like that. Vanny though! What? Vanny! Oh, how did I not question that before seeing her? We saw all the other glam rocks and even the security girl. How does she not come to mind? I don't know, but here she is. Wow, maybe I'll color in Vanny. I don't know. Nightmare, Twisted, Chica there. Oh, that's a good one. Scrap Baby, that's nice. Dang, the details though. 
Twisted Bonnie. Help me! Okay, we haven't seen him up until this point. How did I not question the uh, existence of Helpy up until this point as well? I don't know. Scrap Trap! And that's it, and it ends on Freddy and Chica. Okay! So again, not every animatronic is in here, I think. I don't think so. I mean, I don't remember seeing, like, Orville. But either way, there's some really nice pictures in here. And now, guys, we got the hard decision of choosing who the heck we color, because I'm only going to be able to do one. How are we going to do this? Who are we going to choose? I don't know. Okay, so I've actually decided to go with Baba from the four closet so yeah i think this one could turn out quite detailed if i do manage to do this well that is and i think it will just come out looking pretty nice so uh yeah we're gonna color this one in and hopefully it doesn't look like garbage so much choice guys we had so much choice but yep circus baby from the fourth closet here whatever she specifically called from the books but yeah going into this i had no idea if there was any specific differences to her color scheming compared to the sister location game version of circus baby i googled it up and bumped into one of the fourth closet posters that had this circus baby on it and i also ran into an amazing piece of artwork by the one and only pinky pills and grabbed inspiration to color in this piece from those two images Now that I look at this a little bit more, I mean, I'm kind of forced to seeing as I'm coloring up at the speed of sound here. This image looks like a combination of the Pinky Pills one and the art from the actual poster. But I digress, you guys want to know the most important detail during this coloring, don't you? What the flip am I using to color in this masterpiece? Well, I'm just using normal crayons. Don't really know the brand. They're just low-end garbage I got from the range. That's, that's where I got them. So if you're from the UK or are in the country where there's a shop called The Range, then you can buy them there if you're that interested. I hope you haven't skipped to this part of the video because you're going to be very confused that I'm now talking about eggs and how you can boil them and how you can poach them and how you can fry them and how I actually love all of those three ways I described on how you can cook an egg. They're just so versatile, aren't they? So having done most of the shading on the body there, we move straight on to her glorious, lengthy pigtails. And I was worried I'd kind of butcher this part of the coloring. I'm not completely sure why. I don't know. I was going on for a bit of time here. I was getting kind of tired. I was getting kind of weak. I was on my knees. I needed a drink. I needed some food, but I think I persevered. I mean, you guys shouldn't blame me for worrying. The last time I colored anything was when we colored in the FNAF bootleg book. <laughs> OMG guys, I can't believe it. We're actually nearly kind of done here. So yeah, the last thing, but not least, is her face. I didn't go into this with a plan. I didn't go into this thinking the face would be the end thing I color and the body is where I'd start. It just happened the way it happened. But yeah, we do the face here. I try to keep the left side of her face just a bit darker just to show where the light is kind of hitting on this picture. Sure, I didn't depict that. All too well, but I did my best to show where the lighting could possibly be.
Well, there we have it, guys. That was the Five Nights at Freddy's official coloring book. It's still weird to say it, and it's still very strange to see it. I can't believe this video was a thing today. Officially, it's bizarre. But yeah, we finished up the coloring of the baby from wherever the flip she's from. And I'm wondering what you guys thought of it, so let me know in the comments section down below. I did what I did. I used what I had. I'm very sorry. I tried. I thought it would be really fun to not only go through this book, but yeah, do a color in as well. It makes it up. It's a coloring book for crying out loud. We had to do something. But yeah, we're going to get over it, guys. This is actually, again, with all the jokes put aside, a really good FNAF coloring book. For FNAF, this is real good. Seeing characters as of now that we haven't really seen much of and just seeing characters that are a little bit more obscure in the series be presented in this book with really fun and really great looking drawings and poses from them. Yeah, it's really good stuff. So if you're interested in this, to get it and color some Freddy Fazbear's in. <laughs> But seriously, aside from some very strange inconsistencies and some very strange pictures, like with Baby next to an apparent 15 foot Montgomery because Baby's meant to be like 8 foot or something, and the fact that we have Toy Cheek and Toy Bonnie with FNAF 1 Freddy, Yay! this book isn't actually all that bad. I mean, it sure as heck beats whatever the flip we checked out last year. So really good art, some very strange placement, but overall, a pretty good coloring book, especially a pretty good for the first time ever FNAF coloring book. But yeah, guys, we're going to get out of here. If you enjoyed this one, you know what to do. And I don't know, maybe if you want me to color another one of these pictures in for a future video, let me know in the comment section down below your suggestion. There's so many pics to be had here. Have a flick through. Go back in this video. Have a look and let me know which one I should go back and do again if I do, which I... I probably won't, but let me know anyway.